Oh, it zooms in really far on video. It just crops the top. How do I know if this is filming? No, it's... Oh, it says recording. <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to film Jackson with his new blood reader and it's really convenient and a lot better than the older ones and you just tap it on, it goes beep 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 and it tells you what his blood is on. I'm Jack and I'm a diabetic. So we're about to go to Bali and I really want to try my new Freestyle Libre blood glucose monitor on the trip. Bit of a mouthful. I've tested it a couple of times now and what I found is the sensor falls off from doing a lot of activity. From the moisture from running, abrasion, rubbing against clothes and getting knocked around. I've just discovered Ticoderm film from 3M which is 1624W that fits around the sensor and protects it a lot better. The experiment is we're going to Bali for 12 days and I want to see if Freestyle Libra can work the entire 12 days and I also want to document how this blood glucose machine improves my diabetic lifestyle. So I'm going to put it on. This is the Freestyle sensor. This little device I'm going to be putting on my arm. This is the blood glucose reader that when you tap it to the sensor, it will read my blood. And this is the backup blood, glu blood, glu blood glucose reader. <laughs> this is the backup blood glucose reader, the Freestyle Inchlinks, which I used before the Libra, and it's going to be the backup in case the, my sensor falls off from something. But overall, this is so much more convenient to use. All right, let's get into it. This is the Freestyle sensor, the unboxing. All right, so we've got this, got that, alcohol swabs, packaging. We have the instructions. So. This is where I have to put it on the back of my arms. Alcohol swab, open up, open up. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna go with my left arm. Open up. More packaging. Untwist this. Right, so we bring these together. And now it's ready to inject, as you can zoom in on that needle. So that will be going under the skin, but it will also be leaving under a little wire that will be checking my blood constantly. Don't be scared of it, it doesn't really hurt. Make sure you get it in place, which I'm hoping is there, and you push. You see that okay? Yep. The trick is, as Dad's pointed out, if you put it on and pull away, the adhesive stickiness may come loose. So told me to just hold it there for a little bit longer so the adhesive sticks firmly. That should be plenty. And as you can see, just need to wiggle it off. And that's the sensor. New sensor found. So, to calibrate, it's gonna take 60 minutes. You can see all the dots in the line. Cool. The whole point of this experiment is to see how long this can last in Bali. So going in the surf, running around, sweating, you know, putting on t-shirts, etc. So I'm going to put it on some ticket and film. 1624W, I find to be the right size. Okay. Got to be careful because I don't want any air bubbles, I'm going to try and make this airtight as possible. I'm failing, failing. How do I get this off? Thank you. Thanks, Annie. It's alright. So definitely get a friend to help you out. That's pretty hard. Found this one to be the best because it flexes with you, protects it, holds it on so it doesn't peel off, and it's also, you know, protected from most water. And um, I guess we'll check in every day, see how it's going as we go to Bali, surf, some reef break, and just life. Still working. This looks amazing.